personally, it was a unique year for me in terms of Ramadan. Ramadan is the uh, Muslim uh, holy month of fasting. It's the month when the Quran was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad. And during that month, um, you know, reflection, rest, those are all things that you're working on uh, and you're trying to do. It was very different because I was working from home, so there was some extra benefit in terms of being able to be around family and do some more things personally. Um, you know, we started a garden. I mean, there, there's a lot of things that we were able to do to work on that. And the other piece that I realized is that I gained a lot more time. I didn't have the drive to work. Um, and, and because uh, places of worship were, were closed down, I didn't have time lost in those drives and things like that. It was more time for me to reflect uh, and to rest. And I thought that was, uh, it was critical for me. And I think the interesting thing for me was right at the conclusion of the celebration or the Eid uh, following Ramadan is when George Floyd was killed. So it's, you, you, you go from that that high of, of the spiritual high and then the celebration and then all of a sudden the reality that um, there is still much to do. There is still much going on but I think rest and respite are critical because you're no good to anyone if you are burnt out. You're no good to whatever causes you're committed to uh, if you're burnt out. So I encourage my people uh, that I work with to take their days, make sure you take your days uh, and, and you know, I want you to be fully rested. I want you to um, have some energy. And I think uh, one of the things we have to do is we have to uh, let go of the guilt that comes along with the rest. We have to let go of the guilt that comes along with, with checking out.